In this video, we're going to show you how to make this simulation of cars driving around the road network of this little city. So let's get started. This is the code, and this is an Illustrator file drawn by my friend Dennis Hess. See, we got these different layers here named. So we can export from Illustrator into an SVG file, and you can see that the layers preserve their names as IDs. Now we're going to link this directive to the SVG file by just typing in the path. Oh, and by the way, we're using code left over from part one. So let's see if this actually works. Yeah, it does. There it is. We've injected the SVG into our template. And now we're going to add the cars in. So there's this array cars. So we're going to make a group to hold all the cars, call it G car. And then we make another group for each car in that array cars. So we use ng repeat loop over this vm.cars array where vm is the name of our data model. Uh, so we have one group for each car. We're going to keep track of them by their ID. And then inside of each of these little groups we're going to make a rectangle, uh, give it a certain width and height, and uh, we're going to make it the class car because I've already styled this stuff. You can check that out in the GitHub repo. Now the task is to actually put the cars in the right place by picking out something for their transform property. Um, we're interested in this road, gray road. We're going to make them follow along the road. So we're going to pass in this element that has our SVG in it. And we want to select inside of that element, specifically the gray road, that path of the road. So we selected that with d3.select and we got the node instead of the selection. And then we're going to use the property on it called get total length to figure out how long it is. And now we're going to assume there's going to be some kind of function called like place car, or it's going to be on the controller itself. So vm.placecar where you can pass in the car and it will give you the right transform. So to get started, what this function will return is a string with translate, which will tell us the X and the Y position of the car in pixels, as well as the rotation so the car is pointed in the right direction. Now we're going to use kind of an SVG trick to figure out the XY coordinates of the car. So the car has this loc property, which is like what percentage of the way around the road is it? Um, and then we can use this method on the road called get point at length. It takes how many pixels along the road is it? So we take that percentage, that car dot loc, multiply it by the road length. That's going to give us how many pixels along the road is this car. Um, when we pass that into get point at length, it returns this variable that we called p0, which has an x and a y coordinate. Now we want to get another point just a little bit further along the road path. So we're going to take this car.loc and we're going to add like 0.2% to it or something, and then do modulo 1 in case it goes over 100%, and multiply that by the road length. So that gives us two points, p0 and p1. And we can use these two points to figure out what direction the car is pointing in. So to do that, we're going to take the difference of their x-coordinates and the difference of their y-coordinates, which are kind of like two sides of a triangle. We can use those two sides, put them into an arctan function, and then we can say, you know, uh, what is the angle of the hypotenuse? And this arctan function, though, it returns radians, so we need to multiply it times 180 divided by math.pi. But we've already got our x coordinate from the x coordinate of p0, and likewise our y coordinate. So we've got our angle, our x, and our y, and we should be good to go. So now let's go see if it works by reloading. Eh, it looks like it's not working, so we've got to go debug. Uh, oh, here's one problem. I've got to do those double brackets. But no, it's still not working. We've got an error now. Something isn't right. Looking over here. Oh, look, yeah, we were missing our closing parentheses. But now, yeah, there's the cars. They're in the right place. So now the thing to do is actually make the cars move around. To do that, we're going to comment in all this click, pause, play infrastructure we have from last time, where it passes a DT, uh, time passed, into a move method on the car. So we type that move method, it gets the DT, and then it needs to update the location with a velocity. So we'll say the velocity of the car is going to be like, 0.1, so it goes 10% of the way around the road every second. So I say it's the old loc plus velocity times dt, but divided by 1,000 because it's in milliseconds. And we need to do modulo 1 so that it like starts over when it goes all the way around the circle. Now we just need to make a button 
to play and pause. We can add in a regular old HTML button element here, even though it's an SVG file. Do ng click is equal to vm.click, give our text play pause to say what it does, and we should be good to go. Uh, let's see if it works. Reload, and we got this play pause button. When we click on it, yeah, it works. They're going around. So now you've, if you followed along, you've created a traffic simulator. Good job.